Okay, this video is about the misconceptions of castle doctrine and stand your ground laws. Okay, states might differ a little bit here and there, but for the most part, the main takeaway on stand your ground and castle doctrine. Castle doctrine means that you have the right to defend yourself while at home. Your castle. Um, stand your ground, of course, means that you have the right to defend yourself if you're out somewhere where you're allowed to be, like, you know, in a parking lot uh, outside a shopping area. Okay? You're allowed to be in those places. You're allowed to defend your life in those places if need be. Here's the thing. A lot of people, and I still hear it today. A cop told me if I have to shoot someone to drag them in the house. No. Don't do that. If you drag someone in the house, you're, you're tampering with evidence. You can be charged for that and you can go to jail. If you have to shoot someone, it better be only because there was no other choice and you had to. Now, what does that mean exactly? You know, do I have to run? Some states have a duty to retreat law. That means if you're in your house, literally this is what this means in some states that have this. If you're in your house, someone kicks in your front door you're supposed to run out the back door with your back turned. Even though you might be sitting there with a gun on your uh, nightstand. The, there's lots of problems with that. You, you might be older, you might be weaker, you might trip and fall, they might shoot you in the back, uh, you know, they might outrun you. Uh, if you've got the drop on someone and you, they've broke into your house to do you ill intent, I don't understand why you'd want to try to run. You better take your shot, in my opinion. Um, but some states have those laws. Now, the problem is a lot of states that have castle doctrine and have um, stand your ground, are pretty well explained. A lot of people have the misconception that you can use these things for anything. That's not what they're... You can go to jail. If you defend your life against someone, but you instigated something, you could end up going to jail. You have to be very careful. These laws are there to protect people, law-abiding citizens who are, who have been charged with crimes in some of these states and cities where they shouldn't have been charged. Um, you know, what's that mean? That means, like, for example, the Uber guy who defended himself, uh, after lured into an alley by a, uh, a fake call. And they're standing there with an AK-47. He jumps out. He has military training. He practices, blah, blah, blah. And he shoots the would-be attackers. Well, that state, I think it was New York or something like that. It was one of those states. Charged him. That's what stand your ground is for. Okay? What would a reasonable person reasonably do? Okay. Um, a lot of people seem to think that stand your ground and castle doctrine mean that if someone knocks on your door, you know, demanding money, that you're allowed to sling the door open and start shooting. Uh, no, you're not. You know, some, uh, it could be someone who, you know, a landlord who has the wrong address. You know, um, even if, like, for example, this really happened uh, several years ago. 
a, a guy woke up at 4 a.m. and someone was in his house. So he goes blazing. Luckily, you know, the drunk girl, college co-ed, who had the wrong house, uh, didn't get killed. Now, the guy was luckily not charged, but if he had killed her, he probably would have been charged. You have to be very, very careful. You can't be reckless with a firearm. That's what's causing a lot of these new gun laws and, and pushes, even by Republicans, to start pushing these gun laws and stuff. It's because there's a lot of reckless people out there with, with firearms. Everyone has the right to own a firearm, but not everyone should own a firearm. And there's a lot of dumbasses out here that don't that shouldn't own a firearm. Um, you know, the person who, and I hear it all the time, people say, oh, a cop told me to drag him in the house. You know, maybe a cop did tell you that 20 years ago. They're not going to be telling you that now. And if they did, they probably don't know what they're talking about. Don't take their advice. Um, stand your ground. And Castle Doctrine was meant to protect the law-abiding person so that if they had to use a firearm to protect themselves, they could avoid being recklessly charged by an overzealous prosecutor who just wanted to score points for the election. Okay? Um, too many people think that, you know, you're driving down the road, for example... And you, someone cuts you off, you flip them off. Well, they, they lose their shit and they follow you home. You jump out and start shooting. Well, I mean, technically, you know, they did follow you home. But did you instigate something? Yes, you did. And even, here's the thing. Even if you do do something stupid like that, and you do get acquitted or, you know, not even charged, here's what could happen. One, you've got to tell the police what happened. You better tell them everything because if you leave anything out or change the story a little bit, you could be prosecuted for that. That's illegal. Okay? Two, you could be arrested. You could be arrested for doing everything right. Like the guy, you know, the Uber guy uh, with the AK-47 guy. You know, you may not get charged and you may be released, but they might hold you till they figure out what's going on. Um, you know, you want to try to do everything right as possible. And the first right thing you should be doing is trying to avoid anything. Don't be an idiot out here. If you've got a gun on you or if you've got a gun, you know, in your car, you need to avoid as much as possible. You know, you're going into a Walmart and you bump into someone. You're carrying a gun. And they're like, hey, man, watch where you're going. You can't smart off back. You can't say, screw you, you watch where you're going. You have to be, you have to be like, oh, sorry, dude. Hey, my bad. My bad. Sorry about that, man. And then, you know, eat a little crow. Because what if you say, screw you. You watch where you're going. And he takes a swing. And now you've got to defend yourself because, you know, maybe they have a gun too. And maybe they had a knife. Maybe... You know, you're, it's, it's overwhelming uh, uh, force from a person. A person like me against someone who's, you know, on a walker and 80 years old. You know, you have to be careful with that kind of stuff. Just like when that one little dude uh, decided, I forget where it was, but it was a year ago or something like that. The, it was all over the news. That little dude decided that he was going to go out in the parking lot of the gas station and, and yell at some woman for parking in a handicapped spot okay he did ultimately get off because what happened was he started yelling at her blah 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 well boyfriend came out of the convenience store 
all pissed off because you're out there yelling at his girlfriend. So, of course, he's going to be, you know, defending his girlfriend. And he pushes you, pushes the guy, the little dude down. The little dude pulls out a Caltech and shoots him once in the chest. The guy stumbles off into the store and dies. Now, that little dude that did that is going to have to live with that for the rest of his life because it ended up he had a small child with him. Yeah, he, he's going to have to realize that he killed someone that he probably didn't have to kill. Okay, that was someone that, in the heat of the moment, and what would he have done, you know, in the end? Would he have just pushed him down and left him alone? The guy got off on it because there was a disparity of size, etc., and it did turn it, it was an attack, and he had a, a sheriff, I believe, who was pretty, you know, uh, pro-self-defense. But imagine for a while there he was going through this turmoil of, of, is he going to be charged? What if I go to prison? You know, I don't know if he had to pay any court fees or lawyers, etc. But, you know, this, took, this lasted a little while. Plus he killed someone that probably didn't need to be killed. Um, so, yeah, you know, you, you've got to think about that stuff. If you're going to carry and you're a hothead, don't carry. You know, you've got to be a gray man. Watch that video as well. You've got to eat a little crow and, you know, someone bumps into you. Just be like, oh, I'm sorry, man, my bad. You know, just be smart about it. Don't drag anyone into your house, please. Don't do that. Stop saying that. I don't know if someone told you that 20 years ago or not, but... Don't just drag them into your house. Anyway, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment. Be safe and stay safe.